We now live in an age where fan-made figures not only fill collecting gaps on our toy shelves, but also somewhat deepen the lore of our favorite franchises. As collectors, we often get the opportunity to add one-off custom pieces to our shelves, and we sometimes find ourselves supporting small upstart companies producing low-quantity factory runs to add figures which enrich the collections of not only ourselves, but our fellow collectors as well. Some of these figures are prototyped from scratch, using a likeness that we are familiar with across other forms of media, and some reverse engineer existing molds with minor tweaks in something of a bootlegging strategy. Either way, it's no longer uncommon to see collectors fill their shelves with a mix of officially made as well as fan-driven, unlicensed product. All of that leads to today's discussion. In 1982, we saw what appeared to be a green-colored Snake Eyes riding a bike released as artwork for a bicycle frame pad item, done by the Cycle Products Company. Of course, we as fans find this interesting, and as such, the company Red Lasers Army released an unofficial version of this figure in 2018. Let's talk about this character right here and now. Hi everyone, this is Ken with Toy Connections. If you enjoy this video and would like to be notified of my future content, please be sure to hit subscribe. Also, if you're able to help this channel grow, head over to my Patreon site and consider a monthly pledge where you'll be able to unlock exclusive content and other benefits. That's patreon.com slash toy connections. The link is in the description below, as is the list of names for this channel's existing Patreon supporters. As mentioned moments ago, smaller companies releasing unlicensed products have worked to fill gaps in our collections, and from 2015 to 2020, Red Laser's army would give us some low-numbered runs of figures that would sometimes bring life to things such as concept, never officially released items. Take for instance, the Action Force Special Weapons team that Palatoy never got a chance to bring to market in Europe, but prototype samples have surfaced. Red Laser did manage to make a swivel arm version of the Special Weapons member Bombardier, which somewhat differs from the straight arm version in the Total Action Force Battle Years book photo that's behind him. Red Laser also put together a small run of figures that was released as a 2017 Jocon exclusive known as Sightline as a tribute to a dearly departed community member by the name of Gary, and was the one rare time an unlicensed figure was actually endorsed by Hasbro at a convention. As for the green bicycle riding Snake Eyes, he was released as a small run by Red Laser's army under the name Kickstart, a name that has stuck amongst fan-driven online circles, and it should be known that a green Snake Eyes even made a one-off appearance as a background character as part of Larry Hama's original 155-issue comic book Marvel run. Also, even before the inception of the figure run, or Red Laser as a toy manufacturer, the figure actually started off as a one-off custom around 2011, and since the vintage toy circle is something of a tight-knit community, it was actually Troy Mackey of Grindstone Toys and founder of the new Call Sign Longbow O-Ring brand. It was Troy that came up with the name Kickstart for this one-off bicycle riding character. Flash forward a few years later, and a few hundred of these ended up being made by Red Laser's army anyway. And while the bicycle will always be the image that Kickstart is most associated with, once the run of figures was circulated around the internet, we began seeing people take photos of Kickstart riding the 1982 Ram or Rapid Fire motorcycle. Apparently Kickstart decided to take the fight against Cobra a little more seriously and upgraded from a common bike to an armed motorcycle to ride alongside his fellow Joes in combat. The figure was released with two light grey Uzis, both of which are lighter in color than those originally released by Snake Eyes and other figures. And the green helmet is actually from one of the G.I. Joe weapons accessory packs that was released during the 1980s. The figure itself utilizes the head, torso, and waist of the 1982 or 83 Snake Eyes and arms from the 1983 Snake Eyes. The legs are from the earliest release of Stalker as well. And even if one strictly adheres to anti-reproduction as a stance as a collector, the good thing is that none of these parts or even the weapons match the color of any of the vintage Joes, so they won't be tricking anyone for being passed off as authentic licensed product. As a fan-made figure, he isn't really supposed to be Snake Eyes, but as you can see, he stands quite well with the various Snake Eyes figures, including 1982 version 1, the 1985 version 2, and the 1989 version 3. And having a look at him, with the other Joes in the early years of the G.I. Joe franchise, as well as seeing how he matches up with some Cobra figures, in my personal opinion, he fits right in. The character of Kickstart would see a version 2 release in 2020, which apparently would be Red Laser's final release figure before they ceased overall toy production. The figure does make use of several reverse-engineered G.I. Joe parts, and as you can see here, he does make use of the torso for version 1 and version 2 clutch. And for those interested in this figure, unfortunately, I'm not in a great position to be able to help people find them, but I have seen them pop up here and there on the secondary market. 
Figures like this most definitely add a coolness factor that both plays on fan nostalgia while making everything old feel new again. And for that reason, it is probably my favorite Red Lasers figure next to the aforementioned Bombardier figure that they made during their short time as a toy company. As I wrap things up for the time being, hopefully the information presented in this video was both entertaining and insightful for you as viewers. If so, subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, and share this video with your fellow toy friends. Otherwise, I will see you again soon with some more of my favorite toys. Take care.